Hello students, today we are going to the scan line method. This method is used for detecting visible surfaces of the polygon. In this method, we need to process the scan lines. Processing of scan lines means finding the intersection points of scan lines with polygon edges. So, here we have scan lines which points with polygon edges to intersect the polygon edges. उन इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट्स को हमें आइडेंटिफाई करना है नाउ इफ यू सी इन द फिगर देयर आर टू पॉलीगन्स एस वन एंड एस टू एस वन पॉलीगन ए बी सी डी वर्टिस से मिलकर बना है और एस टू पॉलीगन ई एफ जी एच वर्टिस से मिलकर बना है इफ यू सी स्कैन नाइन वन तो स्कैन नाइन वन इज इंटरसेक्टिंग एज ए बी एट ई वन एज बी सी एट ई टू एज ई एच एट ई थ्री and as fg at e4 here the scan line one is intersecting at e1 e2 e3 and e4 now if you look the portion of scan line from e1 to e2 you see that that portion is completely inside polygon s1 therefore the portion from e1 to e2 will be displayed with the color of polygon s1 the same way the portion from e3 to e4 is completely inside polygon S2. Here, the portion from E3 to E4 will be displayed with the color of polygon S2. Now, let's see scan line 3. It is intersecting the edges of the polygons at E7, E5, E6 and E8. If we see the portion from E7 to E5, that portion is completely inside polygon S1. Therefore, that portion is displayed with the color of polygon S1. But if you see the portion from E5 to E6, that portion is in polygon S1 as well as polygon S2. E5 to E6 तक का जो portion है, वो S1 में भी नाई कर रहा है, और S2 में भी है. So, here the question arises, कि E5 to E6 का color क्या होगा? S1 का color होगा, कि S2 का color होगा? So in that case, where there is an overlapping of polygons, जहाँ पे polygons की overlapping हो रही है, वहाँ पे हमें polygons की depth calculate करनी है. Now we have to calculate the depth of the polygons S1 and S2, and find which polygon is closest to the view plane. So here we are assuming that S1 is closer than S2. Therefore, the portion from E5 to E6 will be displayed with the color of S1. क्योंकि S1 S2 से ज़्यादा क्लोज है व्यू प्लेन के, तो ये व्यू प्लेन से विजुअल है, and S2 जो है, वो व्यू प्लेन से हिडन है. Since S1 is closer to the view plane, therefore the portion of scan line from E5 to E6 will be displayed with the color of S1. And from E6 to E8, that portion is completely inside polygon S2. Therefore E6 to E8 portion will be displayed with the color of polygon S2. So here there are two scenarios. The first scenario is that there is no overlapping of polygons. And in the second scenario, there is an overlapping of polygons. So where there is no overlapping, like E1 to E2 or E3 to E4, there is a portion of that polygon that will represent the polygon in which that portion is not doing it. But जहाँ पे overlapping of polygon polygons है, वहाँ पे हमें जो polygon closest to the view plane है, उस कनर से हमें उस portion को display करना होगा, okay? Now how we can implement this scan line method, okay? So here we have to maintain three data structures. Now two are you can see on this slide. The first one is the S table. This S table contains information about all the edges of the polygons. Okay, you can see from the one row entry format that what information is being stored in the S table. First information is X coordinate corresponding to the smallest Y coordinate. It means जो S को हम consider कर रहे हैं, उसके जो दोनों vertices हैं. उन दोनों वर्टिसेस में जिस वर्टेक्स की एक्स कोऑर्डिनेट छोटा होगा, डेट एक्स कोऑर्डिनेट वैल्यू इज बीइंग स्टोर्ड इन द कॉलम एक्स। 
the second is y max here we are storing y coordinate of the other end of the edge और उस एच का जो सेकेंड वर्टेक्स है जिसका कि एक्स कोऑर्डिनेट स्मॉलेस्ट नहीं है दैट वैल्यू इज बीइंग स्टोर्ड इन वाई मैक्स इन डेल्टा एक्स वी हैव टू स्टोर वन बाय एम वेयर एम इज द स्लोप ऑफ द एच एंड देयर इज ए पॉलीगन आईडी हियर व्हाट वी आर डूइंग वी आर असाइनिंग ए यूनिक आई टू ईच पॉलीगन जैसे हर स्टूडेंट को एक यूनिक रोल नंबर असाइन करते हैं इसी तरीके से हम यहाँ हर पॉलीगन को एक यूनिक पॉलीगन आई डी असाइन करेंगे so that we can identify the polygon okay and the, at the last there is a pointer is there that pointer points to the polygon table ye pointer polygon table ko point kar raha hai jisse ye malum pad jayega ki ye edge kis polygon ka part hai so this is the edge table the next data structure is polygon table in this we are storing the information about all the polygons in the picture the information is first one is the id where that is unique we are identifying each polygon with a unique id then the coefficients of the equation of the plane of polygon to hum jante hain jo plane ki equation hoti hai ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0 to yahan pe plane coefficients kya hain a b c and d these coefficients will be stored in the plane coefficients column these coefficients will be used in determining the depth value of the polygon from the view plane the third is the intensity information on this polygon that is the color of the polygon and the last one is the flag in or out this is a variable that is either in or out means if we are inside the polygon the value of the flag is in it means ki we are inside the polygon is flag ki value agar in hai to ye indicate karta hai ki we are inside the polygon और अगर हम पॉलीगन के बाहर हैं तो दैट वैल्यू विल बी आउट तो इससे हमें मालूम पड़ जाएगा कि हम किस पॉलीगन के अंदर हैं और किस पॉलीगन के बाहर हैं इनिशियली द वैल्यू इज फॉल्स ओके हम शुरू में ये मान लेंगे कि वी आर आउटसाइड द पॉलीगन द नेक्स्ट डेटा स्ट्रक्चर इज एक्टिव एस टेबुल द एक्टिव एस टेबुल इज ए डेटा स्ट्रक्चर दैट कंसिस्ट ऑफ द इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट्स ऑफ द एजेज विद द करेंट स्कैन है तो इन दिस टेबुल we are storing the intersection points of the current scan line this scan line ko hum consider kar rahe hain uske related jitne bhi intersection points hain with the polygon edges wo hum active edge table mein maintain kar rahe hain and the intersection points are sorted by increasing x coordinate aur jo points store ki jayengi is table mein wo increasing order of x coordinate value ke according store ki jayengi that is from left to right along x direction if you see this picture and then we have to decide how, what is the content of aet active as table so there are five scan lines there n1 n2 n3 n4 and n5 we are moving from bottom to top so first scan line is n5 it is intersecting edge ab and edge ca so n5 ke corresponding jo entry hai ab ya ca hai it means n5 scan line is intersecting edge ab and ca aur ye entry hui hai increasing order of x coordinate to agar x coordinate ki baat kare to intersection point ab pe jo x coordinate hai wo value choti hogi corresponding to intersection point ca se n4 intersection ki baat kare it is intersecting at ab ca fd and ef it is intersecting at four intersection points two from the polygon abc and two from polygon def n3 and n2 are intersecting at ab d bc and ef and n1 is intersecting at ab bc de and ef so this is the active edge table that is it stores the intersection points of the scan lines okay so these three tables are being used in scan line method the first two table s table and polygon table never change during the execution of this method on the active s table keeps modifying as we move from one scan line to other scan line okay now let's see from this figure how we can decide whether we are inside and outside of a polygon okay so here we will use the flag of the polygon table 
the value of the flag is either set to in or out. If we are inside the polygon, the flag is set to in. If we are outside the polygon, the flag is set to out. Okay? If no flags are true, then nothing is drawn. अगर कोई भी flag true नहीं है, इसका मतलब हम किसी भी polygon के अंदर नहीं हैं. If one flag is true, then the color of that polygon is used. अगर एक flag true है, तो हम उस polygon के color को use करेंगे display करने के लिए. If more than one flag is true, then the frontmost polygon must be determined. अगर एक से अधिक flag values true हैं, इसका मतलब polygon की overlapping हो रही है. तो यहाँ पे हमें डेप्थ वैल्यूज को यूज करके जो सबसे फ्रंट में पॉलीगन है जो विजुअल है फ्रॉम द व्यू प्लेन उसको हमें आइडेंटिफाई करना है तो इफ यू सी द फिगर एंड कंसीडर द स्कैन लाइन एन थ्री तो एन थ्री इज इंटरसेक्टिंग एट एज ए बी एंड डी ई तो बिटवीन द इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट्स यू कैन सी दैट वी आर इन साइड द पॉलीगन ए बी सी but we are outside the polygon df in that case the flag of abc is set to in and flag of def is set to out it means from between the portion of the, that portion will be displayed with the color of polygon abc now if you further move along the scan line we see that abc is in and def is also in it means we are inside two polygons because the flag value of two polygons are set to in it means there is overlapping in that case we have to decide which polygon is visible or which one is hidden okay and further we uh, abc is out and def is in so in the last we are seeing that the flag value of def is in and abc is out it means we are inside the polygon def and outside the polygon a b c so this is the way we can decide using the value of flag whether we are inside a polygon or outside a polygon if more than one flag value is set to in it means there is a overlapping of polygons in that case we have to use the depth value to decide the front most visible surface okay so this is the way Uh, scan line method works we start from the bottom most scan line and move towards the top most scan line and see the intersection points and decide ki what is the color of the pixels if the portion of the line is inside only one polygon then that portion will be displayed with the color of that polygon if the scan portion of the scan line is inside two or more polygons in that case we have to decide the front most polygon using the depth value and moving from bottom to top we have to draw the pixels and finally the picture that will be displayed is that one that is visible from the view plane okay so i hope you will be able to understand how, what is a scan line method how it is being implemented Please like share and subscribe thank you